Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and before I start with this video I would like to say thank you for your love and support to our last video which was regarding charts where I demonstrated how you can make the chart type and dynamic. So I'm going to just continue that a little bit and I'm going to show you in this video how you can add a little dynamic story as well into your charts which will change based on your slicer selection. This can be quite handy when you're having a quick catch up with your boss or quick catch up with your client and you don't really want to create a presentation. Maybe this is another way to go with it. This video I'm try I will try to make it as short as possible. Otherwise, if I go into very deep details, it can be very long. I will also provide the download link for this file if you want to have a go with it yourself. Yeah, if you're not familiar with something that. So to make this happen, you need few things basically. You need your raw data, something like this. And you need story for each of your filter selection basically. Like so. And then you need another sheet with calculation. But uh, nothing to worry about. I will go through all of it with yourself. So let's start. Let's say I have this raw data or you have this raw data. You need to first convert this into a table. So there are multiple ways to do it. I like to press Ctrl T and let's enter. Here you go. Your data converts into a table. Then you go to insert and go to pivot table and here you can select whether you want pivot table on a new sheet or exist existing sheet uh, I like to have it on new sheet so I'm gonna press OK and then I'm gonna drop the country into filters so basically this will be your main criteria for the slicer and then I'm gonna paste I'm gonna move the sales to the values and the quarters to the columns and that's it basically uh, let me make the values so they can show as the currency <coughs> you can select dollars of your choice doesn't really matter okay and then we're gonna insert the chart so select your pivot table go to insert you can click on any of these, whichever you like. So, to be column for this demonstration, I'm going to right click on these buttons and then I'm going to click hide all field buttons on chart. And then I'm going to click this plus button, activate the chart title, hide the green lines because I don't like them, and the legend, I'm going to move it to the bottom like so I'm gonna also delete this select and press delete on your keyboard okay the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna insert the slider slicers so you can right click on your filter criteria here and click on add slicer here we go okay cool let's make the chart that dynamic first so we're gonna select the chart title go to the formula bar type equal and select the filter here so as you can see our chart title has become dynamic now we want to show the values over our bars so we can do to do data labels we can change the size if you like but uh, for this video we can leave it as it is so next thing we need we need the story for all these criteria selections so basically I've already got uh, the material so I'm gonna just create another sheet and paste the stories here yeah so in one column you want to have your current criteria and in the next column you want to have the story okay and then you need to add another sheet 
you can't you can also do it without another sheet but i like to keep things neat and tidy so just add another sheet and then in here you can run a lookup or vlookup xlookup d d get or whatever formula to get the filter selection value let me show you what i mean so basically what i'm gonna do we're gonna x lookup in this video but you can do vlookup as well whichever you feel familiar with so lookup value would be this one and then we're gonna look it in this column and return this column if not found just return empty zero and one close it and you can see now we go this story based on this filter criteria if i select canada the story will change according to the selection okay now we need to put this story into a shape or text box whichever you prefer i like text box text box in this uh, particular case so go to insert click on text box insert and then click on formula bar equal to this first cell enter and here you go now we're going to move this onto our dashboard sheet so control x and v okay looks like it go messed up so when you move things around it can get messed up so what we gonna do we're gonna make it dynamic again so once you have it here you go again on the formula bar click equal and then go to sheet your calculation sheet and click on the story and that's it yeah you can see it's dynamic and it's working now next thing we have to do we have to attach this to the chart so when you're moving chart around it moves with the chart so what we're gonna do we're gonna make uh, these bars a little bit smaller so let me expand this chart a little bit and select select the chart area and put it in one corner and select this one the text box and make it like so you can make it big or small according to your needs make that title bigger as well okay so now at this point we got the story and the title dynamic but what happened if you move the chart it's not going to move with the story so what we're going to do we're going to merge them together we'll link them together somehow so what, what we're going to do we're going to select the chart hold the control on your keyboard and select the story and then right click and click on group and group now the story will move with the chart oh no <laughs> it did not okay let's see what happened let's let's do it again so you select the chart select the chart and select the story and right click group and then group and try to group them again i think this is the excel glitch or something oh, come on once we are both selected you can go right click group regroup let's see yeah it worked now so as you can see now it's moving with the chart wherever you're moving the chart so yeah and when you're changing the filter criteria the story is getting changed as well yeah so thank you very much for watching if you want to see more content like this please do subscribe i'm also thinking to put the dynamic picture instead of story in my next video so the picture will change according to the criteria selection yeah it can be a country chart maybe brazil chart every time you select a brazil or canada canada will pop up here let me know if you would like to see that yeah please do like comment and please do subscribe as well thank you very much and see you on the next one